My name is Darren Hicks, and I'm the author of Tower of the Five Orders, the second book in the Shakespeare Mysteries series. If I had to pick one adjective to describe my book, it would be determined. I think every great literary detective shares some characteristic. They're smart, they're intuitive, but I think more so than anything else, they show a determination. They don't give up and they keep going until they have solved the particular mystery. The main character in Tower of the Five Orders is a 13-year-old girl by the name of Kyle von Lediford. And she's smart and she's intuitive, but the main thing that she has going for her is her determination. She is very, very determined to solve the mystery that is the heart of the book. And so if I had to take the whole book and say, what is the one adjective, it would be determined, because I think that's what a great detective is very determined. I enjoy writing for a middle grade audience because they don't see the world as having limits. And a lot of adults view the world as being full of limits of what you can do, you can't do. But middle grade readers are still full of the possibility of what the world can be. And that's very exciting when you're writing a book, is to write to an audience that sees the possibilities that exist in the world, that are open to the possibilities in the world. And you can explore a lot of these themes and these ideas with a middle grade audience that maybe a more cynical, older audience is not as open to. My favorite series um, for young readers has been the Harry Potter series. And I know there's millions and millions of people who would say the same thing, but as an adult, I loved that series. It takes you to places that you can only imagine, into new worlds, and yet the, the characters and the people you meet are very familiar to you. And so I, I truly have enjoyed the, the Harry Potter series. Now, if you're going to take me back and say, what was I reading when I was 10 years old? Probably not the most appropriate things for a 10 year old, but I loved the Stephen King books. Carrie, Pet Cemetery, Salem's Lot, it. I loved Stephen King. And every Christmas I'd get the new Stephen King novel. And the older I got, the thicker the books got. And I'd get it at Christmas, and between Christmas and New Year's, all I would do was sit there and read that new book. But Stephen King was what I read when I was young. What I think that readers will enjoy about Tower of the Five Orders is that the book takes place in, some, in real places, places that you can go to and see and explore the same places that the characters in the book are exploring and see the same things. And they're wonderful, magical kind of places. You go to Cambridge University and Oxford University and there's this mysterious underground river below London that you get explored. You can literally go to where the characters go and see where the river runs under London. And, and that's, that's remarkable. And so when you're reading the book, you've you got to keep in mind that these are real places and that one day you can set your sights on saying, I'm going to go see that place. And it will still be there as it's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years already. And, and that's what I have enjoyed about these books and sharing them with my children is saying, these are real places and one day we're going to go see those places. My most embarrassing middle grade moment and there's really no question about this. I was a short, rather pudgy little fellow growing up. And I decided when I was in middle school that I was going to be on the track team. And I decided that my event on the track team was going to be to run the mile. Well, I prepared for the track event, not by actually running, but by going out and making sure that I was... Uh, properly dressed for the event. I had a nice pair of running shorts and a pair of shoes and a tank top. I, I, I looked the part and since it was the early 1980s I had big poofy kind of brown hair. Um, and so I show up at the day of the track meet and um, I noticed everybody around me looked a, a lot thinner and a lot better in shape than I did. And you know the race starts and within about the first lap everybody who I started off with had already passed me once. And literally by the time I finished the second lap in the race, everybody else is finished. And so the entire crowd, everybody that was there at the track meet, 
is waiting on me to finish. They're waiting on me to finish so that they can get on with the rest of the track meet. And here I am just trudging around for my third lap and then finally my fourth lap with the entire world it felt like watching me run. And it was a terribly embarrassing moment. The, the good news is I made it through and uh, somehow survived that and made it on to high school and graduated and somehow got through it all.